Welcome to this exciting and amazing release management solution for the Salesforce platform. Salesforce is a fantastic platform for building applications quickly. However, Salesforce lacks enterprise-grade release management tools to help developers collaborate across the entire process of application lifecycle management. Flowsome is a flexible, robust, and easy-to-use solution for release management so that you don't have to deal with cumbersome change sets, ant scripts, or metadata APIs. Let me show you how Flowsome works. The first thing to do is to register your organizations. We recommend that you register all of your sandboxes as well as the production org in Flowsome. To register an organization, Flowsum doesn't use passwords, but it does use OAuth authentication when connecting to the other organizations. Salesforce has tested and reviewed Flowsum for security, so you don't need to worry about it. Flowsum has the same level of security and compliance as any CRM module from Salesforce. Now, let's drill down on the production org to view the details. You can see the username that's being used to connect to the org, the organization type, the registration date, the different snapshots, and you can see who has access to the org. Note that there are three out-of-the-box roles, View Only, Developer, and Release Manager. A View Only person can only see existing details while developers can create snapshots. However, release managers can create snapshots as well as deploy to an org. These roles can be assigned to various team members based on their privileges. In addition to that, you can see the changes made to an organization. On June 29th, user story number 106 was deployed to this organization, and on July 20th, User story number 101 was deployed. You can drill down on a user story and see the exact details of what changes were made to this organization. Also, you can see if the changes were directly applied or if they were tested on other organizations before being applied to the current org. Once you've registered an organization, you can create a snapshot for that org. A snapshot creates a copy of the org's metadata. You can create a complete snapshot or a partial snapshot based on your requirements. Once you have created the snapshot, you can see the complete metadata details of that org. In this case, there are 313 metadata types, 39 custom objects, and so on and so forth. All the configuration information is stored in custom objects, so you can report and analyze that information. This snapshot can now be deployed to another organization, for example, to another development or QA environment. This is really useful for synchronizing orgs. You can also use snapshots for comparisons, for example, you can compare the same org at different points in time. Here you see a comparison of the Dev2 org at different points in time. Or, you can compare two different orgs, such as Dev versus Staging. Objects which exist in one org but not the other org are shown in pink. Objects which exist in both of the orgs but are different are also shown in pink. In this example, Let's compare D2S5 with S2S3. When you compare declarative components, Flosum doesn't just look at the last modified date, it compares the entire component to check for differences. As you can see here, demo object exists in one org, but not the other. Survey objects exist in both of the orgs, but they're not identical. They have differences. You can examine the differences at the code level. Let's see how the Apex pages are different. Here you can see that survey page is different. Let's drill down to see the differences at the code level. If you click on it, 
you'll see the side-by-side -side comparison of two Visual Force pages. As you can see, there are three extra lines on the left-hand side. Snapshots can also be used for continuous integration. Every time a snapshot is created, you can submit it for a build. Then you can pick the build name, the snapshot to be deployed, and the target organization. If there's a failure, you can roll back to a previous state. One of the principles of continuous integration is to give quick feedback to developers. Therefore, if the build fails, you let the developer know immediately that the build failed and that they should fix the code. If the build succeeds, let the entire team know that the build was successful. Developers can take the newly modified files and work on them. This prevents developers from overriding each other's files. However, some customers want to be very selective in the changes they apply to an organization. Patches allow you to do exactly that. Using patches, a developer can pick only the files that he or she wants to move between orgs. In this patch, the developer has included metadata such as Apex classes, custom objects, email templates, layouts, or any of the other metadata types. Once the patch is created, it can be deployed to any organization, assuming the user has permission to deploy to that organization. If you look at the history of this patch, you can see that it was first applied to Dev2 on June 1st, Test on June 8th, QA on June 15th, and so forth. Now that you've seen the demo, it's time to take a look at Flosum's architecture. As you've just seen, Flosum is completely built on the Salesforce platform. You can configure and extend it like any other application built on Salesforce. And Flosum is completely built for the Salesforce platform. With Flosum, you won't have to deal with change sets, build scripts, metadata APIs, or point solutions. We recommend that our customers install Flosum in a separate org. Sandboxes are meant to be refreshed. If Flosum is installed in a sandbox, the history will be wiped on any refresh. If it is installed in production, then it can mingle with the business data. This is the reason we recommend installing Flosum in a separate org, although it can be installed in any org. When you get the Flosum package, you'll get a separate org. The cost of the separate org is already included in the Flosum package. The new org will also be provided by Flosum. You don't need to contact Salesforce to get a separate org. Flosum is built specifically to solve the release management problems in Salesforce. It simplifies all operations for release management by leveraging the industry best practices for enterprise applications. Flosum helps to simplify, standardize, and streamline release management processes for the Salesforce platform. Flosum is a complete release management solution for any mature, large enterprise organization. Finally, Flosum is built with the following in mind. Security and compliance. Flosum is completely built on the Salesforce platform and has no external footprint. If the Salesforce platform meets your compliance needs, then Flosum meets your compliance needs. Scalability and performance. Flosum is built for enterprise-level scaling and performance. It's been tested by very large customers with thousands and thousands of metadata items. And user experience. If you have used Salesforce, you already know how to use Flosum since it's completely built on Salesforce. All the operations are done via clicks and no deep technical expertise is required. Thank you for watching this video. We look forward to hearing from you.